Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief keeps you informed about what's happening in Annapolis, Anne Arundel County, and Maryland. Local news, local sports, local events, local opinion, and, of course, local weather. Your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief starts now. Good morning. It's Thursday, February 25th, 2021. This is John Frenet, and this is your Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. It took them a little while, but Comcast made it out yesterday morning. They repaired the damage they caused earlier and ultimately got me back online mid-yesterday afternoon. I just hope this was the right move. Switching internet providers sometimes seems like being asked whether you'd like to die by drowning or by being burned to death. Never a good choice. Okay, enough of that. Let's get into it. County Executive Pittman announced a new program that will take some significant steps towards staving off evictions for about 300 families living in the Hacka public housing units in Annapolis. Alderman Gay of Ward 6 approached the county executive looking for help, and the county will fund a program under the umbrella of the Arundel Community Development Services with a $106,000 grant to offer financial help and legal assistance to Hacka residents. The eviction moratorium is currently scheduled to expire on March 31st, and because the federal funding of HACA, they cannot not evict people who are so far in arrears. The county has 865 units under their housing authority, and the city has 790 under the HACA authority. Now, the Capitol yesterday reported that the county only had eight families that fell that far behind, yet Annapolis seems to have closer to 40%. This is kind of cool. Visit Annapolis now has a trailer touting the great things about Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. It's all tricked out with a cool wrap, some 65-inch monitors, literature, and staffed with a bunch of friendly ambassadors. You can catch a glimpse of it at their office at 26 West Street on March 6th, or if you're at Killarney House in Davidsonville on March 13th in advance of St. Patty's Day. For now, it's staying local, but ultimately it'll be traveling the region, and I think it's a great idea. Plus, as an added bonus, Joe Barson, one of our favorite graphic artists and artists in general in town, designed their Way Cool logo. You want to go to ionanapolis.net, check it out. I've got some shots of the trailer as well. And in some other Visit Annapolis news, the organization is expected to announce their new executive director in the next day or two. We understand that they have hired Kristen Peronis, who was the executive vice president for marketing and communications at the Naval Academy Alumni Association and Foundation. So there is your scoop for the day. A great story out of Jimmy's Famous Seafood in Baltimore. And no, it's not the famous fund, although that is way cool, too. But on Tuesday, Ravens head coach John Harbaugh was there with his family, and at an adjacent table was Cregan Rebstock. She's a phys ed teacher at Glen Burnie High, and according to a tweet she sent out, she was, quote, fangirling hard, unquote. She did leave the coach alone, and in the end, Harbaugh ended up picking up the tab for her party and also everyone else that was dining in the restaurant at the time. But lest we think it was all Harbaugh's idea... He did set the record straight. He said it was Ingrid's idea, his wife. What do they say behind every good man? And speaking of Anne Arundel County teachers, the field has been narrowed to five. Five finalists have been selected for Public School Teacher of the Year, and they are Jing Dai of Mead High, Kelly Goforth from North County High, Sarah Ripian from Crofton Middle School, and Jessica Scanlon from Glendale Elementary, and Timothy Stedman from Crofton High. As for the independent schools, Miles Healy from St. Mary's High in Annapolis and Jacqueline Tuohy from Rockbridge Academy were selected. We find out who the winners are on April 15th at the 35th Annual Excellence in Education Awards. And a heads up to local college-bound kids. The Annapolis Rotary and Rotaract have teamed up and have a bunch of scholarships to give away. The Rotary has $6,000 to give away in $1,500 increments, and the Rotaract is giving away a $1,000 and a $500 scholarship. Details respectively at annapolisrotary.org slash scholarships or annapolisrotaract.org. And Rotaract is R-O-T-A-R-A-C-T. And as we wrap it up today, reminder, tonight is the final installment of the Winter Lecture Series at the Annapolis Maritime Museum. Up tonight at 7 p.m. is a discussion on the fisheries and the fish of the Chesapeake Bay. 
Tickets are only $10 and available at amaritime.org. But my suggestion is to become a member at the first mate level or higher, which is only $100. And the lecture will be free, but there are a ton of other perks that come along with it. Again, all that information is at amaritime.org. All right, that's it for the news today. As always, thank you for listening. And if you are somewhere where you can leave a rating or a review, please do. And make sure you let your friends, family, and colleagues all know about us. It does help a lot. A quick thank you to the sponsor for today's daily news brief, Solar Energy Services up in Millersville, and the Christy Neidhart team of Northrop Realty, a long and foster company. It is Thursday, so of course we have Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace here with your Maker Minutes. And as we do every day, George Young from DCMDVA Weather is here with your locally forecast weather report. All of that in just about 60 seconds. Hello, energy consumers. This is Rick Peters, president of Solar Energy Services, with your Clean Energy Minute. Does your home experience power outages? Or maybe you're concerned about energy resilience in general. If so, that's another great reason to consider clean, quiet, solar-powered energy with battery backup. You may have heard residential solar adoption has rapidly increased during the pandemic for multiple reasons. And many homeowners, like yourself, are adding battery backup and electric vehicle charging to their solar products. Projects. And with Maryland's Residential Energy Storage Income Tax Credit, along with the federal tax credit for batteries when paired with solar, the economics are quite compelling, and that secure feeling is even better. So whether you're looking for clean energy, energy resilience, or overall peace of mind with solar energy, we can help. To schedule a free solar design, call us today at 410-923-6090 or on the web at solarsaves.net. But hurry, sunshine's a-wasting. Sunshine, sunshine, nothing else can make me feel so fine. When you live near Annapolis, you know how fickle the weather can be. So you need a truly local forecast that's accurate and reliable. Forecast right here in Annapolis. DCMDVA weather is not just for today, but for the rest of the week and the weekend too. Now here's George Young of DCMDVA weather with the weather outlook for today and beyond. Hey everyone, this is George with DCMDVA Weather, and this is your Eye on Annapolis forecast for Thursday, February 25th. Yesterday delivered spectacular late February weather, as expected, with max sunshine and temps around 60 degrees for all. And while not as warm today, it will be another nice day with tons of sun again, along with highs near 50 degrees. The winds may remain a bit breezy throughout the day. Then it's more sunshine Friday to end the work and school week with PM highs in the mid to upper 40s before a threat of clouds and showers returns Saturday and lasts into Tuesday of next week with highs Saturday through Monday in the 50s before going back into the 40s Tuesday before skies clear again midweek next week. Okay, that's it for today. This is George Young of DC, MDVA Weather. Make it a great day out there. Stay healthy and be safe. And be sure to get our free app on all of your devices by searching DC, MDVA Weather in the Apple or Google App Stores. And also be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and use our website each day by visiting DC mdvaweather.com so you can always stay weather informed another moving moment from christy neidhart of the christy neidhart team from northrop realty a long and foster company so maybe you've heard by now the real estate market is hot actually on fire might be a better term and if you've been thinking about changing your address lately but need to get your house market ready here are a few simple tips to make your house shine clear the clutter. Basically making your house look like no one lives there when you still live there. Removing everything from kitchen and bathroom countertops is a great start. Give your house a deep clean. We're not just talking about a simple dust and vacuum. Think of this as detailing your house. Get into those hard to reach places, especially in the rooms buyers will focus on, like the kitchen and bathrooms, and power wash the outside walkways and decks. A fresh coat of paint can go a long way. Light gray and white trim is a safe choice. And finally, talk to us. The Christy Neidhart team can help you find things you might not notice around your house that can make a huge difference in your sale price. That's another moving moment from Christy Neidhart. To get in touch, call 410-295-6579 or visit kn-team.com. That's kn-team.com. Every week, makers, crafters, and educators hold events all over the area. Highlighting some of those, here's our Maker Minutes, brought to you by Annapolis Makerspace. Hey, this is Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. Tonight, the Jin Ying Institute of Kung Fu and Tai Chi in Arnold is hosting an online cooking class to celebrate the Year of the Ox with fun fruit, veggie, and other vegan dishes, including a breakfast yin yang dragon bowl, a savory summer roll with peanut dipping sauce for lunch, a joy like noodle bowl for dinner, 
and chocolate mousse for dessert. At Kittens and Cups, Annapolis's own cat cafe, check out their Paint Your Pet Portrait workshop on Saturday. Tomorrow, at the Creative and Performing Arts of South County, near the All-American Steakhouse in Edgewater, check out another one of their Friday paint nights. Classes are limited to eight people, and they have a kid session for ages 6 through 10, followed by an 11-plus session. At the Ray of Light Studios this week, on Saturday, check out their fun, furry, fast, draw your pet workshop. And at Local by Design, Saturday and Sunday is another one of their Annapolis Artisans Market at their shop in the Design District off of Chickapin Round Road. Drop in and check out the resident artists and what they're working on and buy some fun gifts. At Art Farm in Annapolis, registration is open for their spring 2021 semester, which starts on Sunday, with new classes starting regularly through May. There are classes for kids as young as eight, going all the way up to adult classes. Starting this week, on Sunday is their first exposure beginner photography class. Also, continuing on Monday and running through the end of March, check out the six-week class in using Procreate to create digital murals for ages 12 through 18. Also note that registration is open for the Introduction to Batik class next Thursday. And of course, check out Art Farm's online market. Art Farm Studios brings you a curated collection through Art Farm Market. Each sale directly supports working artists and small businesses. Check it out at artfarmmarket.com. At the Anne Arundel County Public Library System this week, enjoy various book clubs meeting this week, such as the Book Lovers Book Chat presented by the Deal Library, the Arnold Senior Center Book Club, Virtual Anime and Manga Club, Stamped by Jason Reynolds, Community Book Study, Early Readers Book Club, and the We Read Wednesdays Book Club. Also, today, check out Owl Prowl with the Maryland DNR. Learn about owl species that call Anne Arundel County home and adaptations that help them survive. Owl pellet dissection kits are provided at the Severn Library, available for pickup. And the Severn Library should be open at 10 a.m. today. Also today, check out a happy little paint night, as well as John Shield's warm winter cooking demo. On Saturday, check out the Master Gardeners, Mulch Matters, and Gardening for Birds. Tuesday, there's Guitar Basics for Beginners. And Wednesday, there's both Behind the Curtain at the Annapolis Symphony Orchestra, as well as SoCo Knits, virtually. Also check out Star Wars and Disney Virtual Trivia Nights, Poetry Reading and Open Mic, Intro to Library eBooks and Streaming Options, How to Be a Children's Book Author and Illustrator with Don Tate, Ask a Lawyer in the Library, and much more. And at Annapolis Makerspace this week, tonight check out one of our regular bi-weekly open house and new member orientation nights. A great chance to see the shop before deciding to join. And then on Tuesday, check out our monthly Autodesk Fusion 360 3D Design Workshop. And if you have any questions about the Annapolis Makerspace, the Maker Minutes, or any of these events, feel free to contact me at trevor at makeannapolis.org. And you can find links to all of these events at the Annapolis Makerspace website, also at makeannapolis.org. And remember, whether you're making art, software, sawdust, or just a mess, chances are you're already a maker. This has been Trevor from Annapolis Makerspace with this week's Maker Minutes. You've been listening to the Eye on Annapolis Daily News Brief. Tell your friends and colleagues, this is the podcast where you can keep up on the latest with what's going on in Annapolis and Anne Arundel County. And don't forget about our website, ionannapolis.net, where you can find even more information. And make sure you follow us on Facebook at All Annapolis and on Twitter at Eye on Annapolis. This Daily News Brief podcast comes to you every Monday through Friday at 6 a.m.